Oh gosh. Go. Oh, that's why. Attack the thing then. Gosh, you don't have to just wait. Th sit there waiting for it. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Everyone's gonna die. I might have to reset this stave. Look, they're destroying all of my animals and everything. Everybody's going on. How is that spellopede stronger than all of my people at once? Yep, everybody's going to die. All right. Hello. Welcome. I'm Gamer, Gamer Pile, and I'm back with another episode of my Tuesday, Tuesday, double feature, double header, and uh, let me just tell you, I am super excited for tonight. I've been looking forward to this all day long today, and you know, it's like, you know, it's been one of those days where you're just kind of like, you know, you spend the whole day working, and like, you don't really realize how intently you're working until you like, finally sit down, and you're like, oh, I'm gonna relax now, and you, you know, you take out your phone, or you take out a book, or you, whatever you do, and you look at the clock, and it's like, 7 30 and you're like what how did that happen that was me today and well here we are um oh man and here we are golly last time we had some problems we had a ginormous old fire over here and in this fire we uh lost like all of our traps and that's that was annoying um so we need to rebuild those today and we're going to try and use stone for that but the problem is we have so little stone it's almost not even worth it. See, we got marble and we have sandstone. We want granite. I believe our... That's an art bench. Butcher table. Where's our... Oh, there it is. Stone cutter's table. Our bills for our stone cutter's table. We do have any stone blocks first, but I'm going to move granite up first because we need granite so badly. We did, though, have our little baby. Look at this. We have a baby iguana. Yay! I'm super excited about that. We are going to be training iguanas to be selling them. They don't... Um, do anything except for be iguanas. I was kind of hoping to have an attack iguana. I forgot that they aren't stuff that you can do stuff with. And so that's kind of a bummer. Uh, but here we are, just the same. Um, so, we are, let's see. I think we're pretty good. All right. All right. Well, very well. Here we are. Uh, we have some boredom. Oh, yeah. Crane is, crane is bored. So he's going to refuel the stove. Why don't you instead, why don't you go ahead and build the table first? I uh, can do that. Oh, yeah. And then, oh, that's right. We got muscle parasites. Um, Seku is pregnant. Target's pregnant and got the muscle parasites. Uh, now, Hushle is not in a very good mood because he is, uh, he has chemical fascination and is a bit um, having withdrawals. So he's unhappy about that. Uh, Nate here is going to... Uh, he's going to take care of Seku, apparently. Um, oh, you know what we should do? We should probably work on his gear and have some stock up settings. I think he's going to be our replacement doctor. So we want him to carry around some herbal medicine just in case. And uh, let's see, we have Nate here. Let's see, we have Vladlena. Oh, Vladlena. Uh, I believe that was last time. If you look right over here... You can see there's a little star there with the RimWorld logo on it. And that star, it means that uh, you can click on that. And when you click on it, you can buy me stuff. As you watch, you earn points. Not just channel points like Twitch has, but you earn points to mess with my game. Or to, if you know you wanted to, help my game. And I could really use, uh, I could really use some sort of a chemical right now. So if you want to throw me some beer or some smoke leaf joints or something like that, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> uh, but what we do, what, what they did do last week instead is they sent us um, Worst Colonist, and that would be Vladlena. Let's check out Vladlena real quick. She has a chemical interest, she's depressive, and she's slothful. And when she arrived, she had zero skills in anything. She might have had a couple of ones in there. Um, she does have a, a, a double passion for animals, though, which I'm a little excited about. So hopefully, hopefully that'll do something. Uh, but yeah, that's where we're at right now. I want I want to build uh, another way to be exciting and entertaining. We do need more food. Oh right, we needed more food in a bad way, didn't we? Um, yeah, Crane, you're gonna have to go ahead and refuel the stove first. No, Shoshale should probably be the one that builds this. I don't even know what is. 
Oh, no, well, it's a four. It's not terrible. So that'll work. Okay, so you do that, you do that, and we'll do this. And welcome. I am so glad you're here today. Um, and uh, so we got a lot of things going on today. It's Tuesday. Oh, man, I love Tuesday. I hope that you do, too. Tuesday's better than Monday. You know, I live in the northeast of the United States, and we're supposed to get a legit snowstorm tomorrow night. They had been saying, like, 8 to 12 inches maybe that's pretty darn big uh for the week before christmas which i think is is pretty good um and uh then i just looked and oh seku gave birth we're gonna talk about that in a minute i want to finish my story so yeah i just found out that i was just i was just looking at a local weather station and they said 16 to 24 inches for those of you doing the math at home, that is double what they just said. So um, I think it's probably time to put the lawnmower away and take out the snowblower and tune it up and make sure it's got gas and good spark plugs and, every plugs and everything. Let's check out Seku's baby. Let's see. Ooh, live. Live is 14. He is... Uh, oh, I like I like the color there, the fuchsia of his, uh, of his uh, Twi'lek. I don't know what they're called. Appendages? Hair things it's not hair it's like skin but i don't know what it is whoa look at this really good shooting and melee and intellectual <gasps> i think we have our researcher live is going to be our researcher searcher hey zoar is in the house how's it going zoar it's your boy everyone's favorite crusher hero zoar zoar orc so you got to tell me am i pronouncing it correctly when i say zoar orc is that like so our orc is it three syllables or is it like zor like sor you know, with an S, but with a Z instead. Uh, you got to tell me because I want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. Uh, really high on plants for live. That's good. We'll probably have that be the backup. And uh, crafting is pretty high too. Construction's not that bad either. Cooking, melee. Man, that's a lot of double fires right there. Double passion is going to be a 200% learning speed, I believe. No, it's 150%. Sorry about that. Zoar Rourke. Zoar Rourke. Yeah, so Zoar Rourke. So Zoar Rourke. So I guess I was saying more of an A on the A, um, but if it's like an uh sound, I totally, I dig that. I can do that. Zoa, I might just call you that. So uh, Zoar Orc and I play a phone app together and uh, called Crush Them All, and we happen to be in the same guild, and uh, he is like the man and is coming here to support me, and I really appreciate you, bro. You're the best. Uh, okay, so let's uh, let's get Lithe's work here all set up. We got Lithe. He's going to be, first and foremost, he's going to be our researcher. So that's going to be a high priority. We're then going to... But we do want to make sure that all of these uh, patient and bed rest are up there. Oh, I didn't even look to see um, what else we had there. Let's see. Uh, we do want... We'll put cook as a three. But we really want uh, four on construct. Three on plant cut. I guess we'll do four on that. Because we want plant cut to be the, secondary, the second thing that he does. Grow and plant cut. Uh, Smith, Taylor, and Craft, Hall, and Clean will all be fours. So the highest priority first, the numbers go first, and then left to right if there's a tie. So the only two we have is in research. They should be our researcher full-time. If ever, for whatever reason, they aren't, uh, he doesn't research, It'll he'll go to the threes, and that'll be first basic, so I guess we want to make that a four as well. Then grow, then plant cut, and then fourth, they will go through all the fours. Uh, that's assuming they're not sick and, and, and need to be a patient or do bed rest. So let's do that. And what do we have here? We need to build a research bench, I guess is what that means. We've got a hand tailor bench down here. Uh, just call you Zoa. Ye ye. Uh, <laughs> Zoa. That's great. I'll do that. Zoa. Zoa. Zo 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 zo. I met her in a bar down in Amsterdam where they drink champagne and it tastes just like sh uh, cherry cola. I know the words. Oh yeah. Uh, we're looking at a simple research bench. Bench. We're gonna throw that right there. It says we don't have enough wood, but we're gonna be doing some chopping. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, we're visiting a grave, apparently. we got the muscle parasites taken care of. You know, any day now, Target's going to pop, too. She's late-stage pregnant, so that'll be pretty sweet. Um, and, yeah, I'm excited about that. And, sorry. Multitasking. It just means doing a bunch of things poorly. Uh, funny enough, people call you Zozo on Discord. Also, don't think those were the lyrics, sir. Um, better at a bar down in Amsterdam where... They drink champagne and it tastes just like cherry cola. I'm pretty sure that's the words. I know that I screwed it up though. 
I, I have the gist of it. All right, we got a female grizzly bear. Oh, that's right. We bought grizzly bears, a, a breeding pair of grizzly bears. We just need to keep them not, um, we need to make sure they don't go wild on us is really what it needs to be. Uh, and uh, there's a couple of thrombos here. We can't even get the thrombos, which is kind of sucky, but that's just the way that it goes. Uh, Okie dokie, what have we got here? Uh, Live Live's already doing some of this stuff here, the planting. Why don't we go ahead and have you just... Actually, you know what I want you to do? If I want to build up your um, plant cutting skill, let's cut down all of these trees that I'm looking at right now, because I want them. I need the lumber from them in order to do like anything in this place. We need to build a bunch of these shelves too to get all of our crap off the floor. That's gonna help. And uh, yeah, so it is the 3rd of April, May. It is finally spring again. And that is pretty awesome. Zoar, what are you up to today? It is Tuesday. How was your day? You, did you work hard today or hardly work today? I gotta know. Inquiring minds, they, they, we don't, they wanna know, they really do. Shoshley, build faster. Oh, what are you building out of? Oh, yeah, we're building it out of marble. I forgot that. People can... Uh, yeah, okay. You know what's funny, too? We got to get you... Uh, we got to get you in the pylon uh, Discord server, buddy. I will... I will absolutely... What I might do is I might put that in game. Um, I also want to make a Discord for our guild and crush them all because I think that... I think that will help to draw people in and keep them engaged in the guild. And I really... I have a feeling that's that's gonna help, so I want to do that. Off all week this week? Oh well, you could get called in any time. You work uh, at one of those big box, not big box stores, but you work in as a in, in a retail store, and it is two weeks till Christmas. So I will very much imagine that <laughs> you probably will get called in at some point soon. Holy cow! It takes a long time to build a chess table. Four hundred works left. Yeah, but yeah, I didn't want to say it. I remembered it was Best Buy, but I didn't want to say it just in case anybody uh, in case you didn't want to know it's like I don't want my real name out there um, even though I have several people who know my real name who uh, come into the stream with me and uh, you know it's one of those things uh, so you had the week off so what are you doing then are you uh, sitting around gaming all day doing nothing chillaxing relaxing all cool shooting some b-ball outside of the school why are we starving oh because you are building and you didn't stop building to go eat you fool that one's on you. I'm not going to take any any blame for that. That's all about you. Actually, it really was my fault, but that's okay. I noticed that we're getting hay on these. I don't want that I don't want hay to be on uh, these these storage shelves. So I'm going to take that off of there. I want hay to be in its own storage right here so I can get the animals in and uh, play around with a little bit of that. Uh, let's see. You almost get called always get called on your days off. Now, do you get extra extra credit? Oh my gosh. What a friggin' teacher. <laughs> Do you get paid extra? In other words, overtime for doing that. That's what I want to know. Pretty much. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we got all this wood now, so that's good. We can build our bench. Probably not going to happen until tomorrow. It's 10 o'clock, and that is bedtime for the peeps. Except for, we actually do have someone who stays up all night. Who is that? Nashashle. But Nashashle is sleeping right now. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I just say it's Nashashle. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, no, Live doesn't have a bed. Hold on, where's Live gonna sleep then? Where is he sleeping? In the middle of the freezer. Not even, like, outside or, like, in a hallway. No, he goes into the food freezer and just lays down on the floor, like you do. It is nine degrees below zero centigrade in there. What a tool. <laughs> uh, no overdrive set. Oh, that's overdrive. Overtime. Ah, oh, that sucks. Also, not giving your store location, so it's no biggie. Yeah, that's, I, I suppose that's true. Like, I guess it's the same thing as me saying I am a teacher. Um, but I don't, I'm not going to say where, obviously. Uh, let's take this off um, and assign Lithe here. And then we're going to wake him up by drafting him and undrafting him back to back. And he should go lay down. Oh, he's still probably going to have that debuff slept on the floor. No, he's uncomfortable and naked. Why are you naked? Don't we have clothing for you? I guess we don't. I didn't even think of that. I don't know if I have a tailor. Yeah, I have a hand tailor bench. We need to make one toilet cultural garb uh, so that you can wear something. And uh, I guess it can be made out of any anything. Who's my who's my crafter? Uh, it's not you. Oh, no, it could be. Well, six, six, eleven. Ah, Seku. Of course, Seku is freaking hurt. Um, Seku, 
you know what? I need to wake you up, but I don't want to do that. Oh, well, that's life. Uh, hey, if the man wants to sleep naked, then let him be. <laughs> that reminds me of, uh, oh, my gosh, what's the Tim Allen movie? Uh, Santa Claus. I just watched the, the full trilogy of Santa Claus recently, and, of course, he's like, usually I sleep naked. Buck naked. And then right then, um, a woman walks by with her daughter who named Mary Catherine, who ostensibly with a name like Mary Catherine is Catholic. And that joke, it's a nice subtle joke, but it's also a phenomenal joke. I love that joke. Tim Allen's the man. I like that movie, too. The whole series is great. Um, especially being a Star Trek nerd, you can see Star Trek right there. Um, I actually uh, appreciate that the guy who plays the Sandman played Worf in Next Generation and Deep Space Nine. That was the guy with the, the you know the cranial ridges, the big Klingon guy. That was the guy. He played the Sandman in the, uh, in the Santa Claus movies. It's fantastic. Love that little stuff like that. He was sleeping. Well, the best of us do. All right, let's get some stuff done here. Let's go uh, do that. Okay. What is Seku doing? Why are you way over here visiting the grave? No, I really, I really need you to make some clothing for this poor dude. <laughs> All right, so we've got our muffalos here. We've got a baby muffalo growing. We've got um, three oxen, yaks. They named this one yummy. I did not name this this yak yummy, I promise you. That is the name that one of my characters gave it. Yummy the yak, <laughs> which is funny because, oh, is it? A, no, and it's a male. So it's not like it even produced milk. It just doesn't. Oh no, look at this, we got a siege going on. Okay, uh, so we have a siege. So we're gonna try and take care of this. Where are we at? Oh, there's a lot of arrows there. Uh, we've got, oh, that's a lot of people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven people right now. I wonder if we could, there's a couple of things I might try to do. We could try to, we could try to keep them here, but you know what would be really funny? If I attacked this this thrumbo right here and got it to be a manhunter, and then they came up to attack, I don't know how far away it's going to be, and I, they're probably going to set up mortars. Yeah, they're going to set up bloody mortars. Ah, shoot. And let's see, what am I going to do? I'm going to have to I'm going to have to like snipe them or something. What do we have for firearms? All right, we've got an assault rifle here. That's what they call it. It's really like an M16. Um, we've got a machine pistol. That doesn't do really a whole lot, especially of penetration to armor. Uh, heavy SMG we've got, so that might be good. A revolver is good for single shots. Auto pistols, all right. A short bow, and Stalker has nothing. Let's get him a weapon. Oh, look at this. We've got another uh, heavy machine gun here. Why don't we do that? Oh, actually, you know what? Why don't we do equip this and have this be... Ah, oh, can't do both. Uh, we'll, then we will equip the Steel Equal as a sidearm. That'll do it. Um, we have a couple of sculptures here to make our rooms prettier. I'll just get those set up because I'm going to forget about them. Otherwise, that's what I do. Um, yeah, that's just what I do. Uh, so, Zoar. Uh, Zo Zoa? Zoa. Zoa. Zoa Rourke. Zoa Rourke. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Uh, so, Zoa, what, um, we were talking about Christmas movies recently. What is your favorite Christmas movie of all time? Oh, and we want these moved away. Um, how are we going to do that? I guess we just got to bring everybody down. Oh, I don't want to do this. All right. Ah, poopers. Lithe was supposed to go and equip this. I want him to equip the rifle uh, so that he can shoot long distances. See, these guys are going to set up mortars, and they're just going to pot shot us until we give up. Um, and then they, if they can take anything, they will. But um, what I want to do is I want to come in here. Well, let's have you keep the door open. And I'm going to have you come right over here. Uh, are we equipped? Yeah, we are. So let's get you down here also. And uh, Seku, I want you to hunt you to hunt this here thrombo and I want you to hit him so that it makes him angry and hopefully we can kite him to come right down here 
So Nashoshle is gonna, oh, that, oh, I thought I had a door right there. Oh, this could be a problem. Fred Claus and Christmas Without Santa Claus. Fred Claus is the, uh, is that the Vince Vaughn one? Vince Vaughn? I have not seen it either way. And then there is uh, Christmas Without Santa Claus. You have to tell me about that one. I don't, I don't remember that one, actually. I guess it doesn't make sense for me to have them all right here, then. Uh, why don't we bring a couple out this way? Uh, you know what? Crane and Noshoshle are going to come outside over here. Whoa, what just happened? What just happened? I just had... Oh, that's all their junk. They're All their junk just landed. Well, we have an angry Thrumbo now, so this is good news. We're going to bring Seku right back. And Nate right back. And hopefully they won't go... Oh, it did. Oh, no. Oh, no. I am just going to have problems here. We've got a real big problem now. Um... This thrumbo is going to cause some issues with us all. Oh, nuts. This is bad. It's going to get Seku and just go to town on him. Okay, run. Run away! Oh, Seku is down. That didn't take long. Okay, so if Atlanta come through, come through here, you three can come on out here. You guys come down here. All right, we're going to get these guys down here. Vladlena, run, Vladlena! Oh, it did go through. Holy crap, it still went through. Uh, we're going to... Can we kite it all the way down here? You two go here. Oh, good, Vladlena. Oh, look at this. So Vladlena actually is not its target right now. Target is its target. Oh, gosh. Uh, Vladlena, why don't you rescue this one? This thing is fast. Holy crap. Let's come down here. Oh, uh, and so he's going to start getting shot at by... I wonder if I could run right straight through. Wouldn't that be something? Okay. 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 Oh, look at this. I'm going to let him just take care of everybody. Now you guys come on up. Come on up. Let's do some attacking. Oh, see, his target's still down. So we need um, probably... Probably... Probably Nate to rescue target. Okay. Gosh, that was that was rough. Oh, Rose, I'm so glad you're here. Oh, I love it when you're when you're here to hang out with me. Thank you so much. Um Sieging Pirates from Metal Scorpions are assaulting the colony. Oh, they must realize that they're having a bad day because this thrumbo is thrashing them. So, uh Rose, I don't know how well you know this game, but I had a bunch of people that completely outnumbered us and they came in and they the it says siege here that's one of the types of events for attacking armies rather than just assault us they hang out back and they they get these mortars and they can attack anywhere outside this circle so they were just going to pepper our base we didn't really have any chance so what i thought would be a good idea is i took this thrumbo um a thrumbo is a super strong heavy hit points heavy attack damage animal and uh, if you attack it it will go man crazy and uh, the um, and they will they, they'll actually like like come after any man human that's nearby. Unfortunately, it did take two of my own people down. But I managed to lure it all the way down here and live our brand new member brought it in here and here we are and I'm standing to get a whole lot of stuff here. So I'm now bringing up my other wait why is Nate's, that, Nate's mine, right? Oh, no. Get out of there. Nate, get out of there. I'm going to go right there, I guess. How are you guys getting shot at over here? You, they should be attacking. There we go. And here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, see, that's the only problem. They did manage to take it down, but everybody's hurt. So with any luck, I'm going to be able to just run away and... Hopefully that'll be just about the end of it, except that Nate just got hurt. So we need to come on up here. Nate, run away. Oh no, this is going terribly. We're going to lose our entire town here. Take him out! Take him out! Take them away! Oh no! Oh no, he's so close! This is going to be bad. Uh, yes, it did manage to... Let's see, what do we get here? It only... Oh, it only killed one of them. But all the rest of them are pretty darn hurt. Nate's in a bad way. 
Vladlina needs to rescue Nate as soon as she's done doing whatever she's doing. We're going to have to play some, um, some leapfrog over here, it looks like. Uh, Lithe, go ahead. Let's take a shot here. Those ones are hurt, so... Crane's gonna come back here and take a shot. And, uh... Alright, so, Nashashle, why don't you, uh, why don't you make your way up? Crane's gonna attack here. Lithe, attack cannon. Oh, man. Yeah, this is, this is gonna be rough. I'm a little bit concerned about not living through all this. Although they are assaulting, so I could theoretically just kind of like make my way back and hope not to die. Uh, I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but that would be swell. Uh, they may also, if I'm not careful, they may just take these two he people of mine and just kind of just kind of like take them. So anyways, uh, okay, so yeah, no one's died yet, thankfully. Uh, at least for me. <laughs> uh, let's go here and here and see if we can't attack some people. I really would like to take him down. Oh, that was a nice shot right there. Oh, we got one. We got one. Lithe, go back. Okay, what does this say? Uh, they're fleeing. Okay, that's a good sign. I would normally pursue them and take them down, but I'm not going to today. I do have one injured guy here, so let's check him out. Incapable of intellectual or crafting. He's also psychopathic and nervous. We are not going to save this guy. That is not one we need. Everybody else is kind of fleeing. So we're going to... Lithe is going to rescue Target. Crane... No, Shoshley is going to go rest. Crane is going to... Uh, let's see. We got a lot of cool stuff. Oh, uh, Nate. Who's rescuing Nate? Crane, I need you to... Yes, by the way, that is uh, the Crane. Uh, that the one we all know by the way um, Okay, so crane can go ahead and eat I guess because he looks like he wants to eat We're going to unforbid all of these items That are here. Oh Good we got some beer. That's good. So hopefully that means we will be able to Oh, Nate Nate's gonna bleed out right here. He really is. What's he? Oh, he's not ble bleeding out yet um, This guy is not in a good spot. Oh, right 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 crane Crane, you need to um, you need to strip this guy, so we can get his stuff. Now we're gonna have clothes. Sweet, we have pants, a t-shirt. Oh, they're all poor and really almost empty, but are almost done. But hey, it's better than being naked, right, Live? And it doesn't didn't come off a dead person, so yay! Oh, there there's some smoke leaf joints. Oh man, that, this one's already like I'm gonna claim that by the way. Steel barricade. Sweet, we got some steel. Claim those and deconstruct them. And hopefully we'll get some, some stuff going here. Vlad Lane is saving Nate. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, get rid of these. We need some people to get rescued. We need some people to be doctors because we know uh, 18 hours. Um, eight hours. And not, not anytime soon. You know what I'm going to have you do? Target cannot walk, so not you. <laughs> Crane, you're going to... Tend. Tend to this person. And then I guess we'll tend here. Live is going to tend to Nashashle. And okay, I'll have to play some Phasma with the kiddo. Oh, hey, have a great time. Um, I'm so glad that you were able to join us. Thank you very much. Oh, it didn't even kill the Thrumbo. It's going to bleed out in 10 hours, but it only knocked him down. Oh, that's funny. Well, there you go. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So... And Rose, I'm so thankful that you joined me. Thank you very much. That was awesome. I hope you're having a, good, a great night playing Phasmophobia. You're good people. Of all the people that are on this place, you're good people. So, thank you. Alrighty. Let's see. We've got... Well, that ended. Didn't go the way I wanted it to go, really, but... Well, sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. I'm a little bit concerned about... Um, about... See, who is this even that she's carrying? Uh, Nate. That Nate is going to die. He's got to be close to bleeding out here by himself. But Zoa, you got me in the background. You're doing other things. Hey, no problem. I'm just, I'm really thankful that you're here to support me, Zoa. And I really appreciate you. You are awesome. And uh, you go ahead and lurk away. Uh, let's see. All right. So we are trying not to have our people die. Six hours now. 
12 hours, so that doubled it on that one. Okay, okay. So you can't do that. I'm gonna rescue Seku. Seku keeps trying to get up. It's a pain in the butt. Um, why don't we just have you rest here? Uh, yeah, well, I'll clean your blood first, I guess, but then we'll make this bed. We'll make the, you know what we'll do? We'll make this bed for medical. By doing that, we can then have him rest in here, and that should work fine. Uh, ye ye Yeah, all right. So anyways, um, oh yeah, no, oh, look at that. Okay, all right. Uh, critical medical emergency. Uh oh yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, he's about to die. Oh, pretty close. Ten to Seku. So we're gonna get some of those. No Shoshle. Nate. Oh Nate. Nate is not gonna die yet. So where's Lithe at? Lithe needs to do some, some tending too. I know that none of these people have like any any information at all, any skill at all in any of these doctoring things. But, like, when you live on the rim, this is just what you gotta do, so that's kind of life. Life on the rim. Hope everybody's having a good night tonight. I know I am. I hope that you are enjoying watching. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Um, whether you are able to chat, whether you're hanging out in the background, all of you are super awesome people that I really appreciate. And it looks like we are just about out of food. Great. Well, that ended up happening at a really terrible time. I think we've expanded too fast. I think that's part of our problem. We didn't really get ourselves going at the right time. Um, yep. And I'm pretty sure Rarisimago is starving. Yep. So is Target. Are you feeding Target, Crane? Is that what you're doing? Nope, you're feeding... Why don't you feed? Feed target. Feed target. Okay, there we go. I know Seku might be hungry. Not as hungry as target is, though. Had some coffee and some Sour Patch Kids. Was that your Was that your meal? Was that your dinner? <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Zoa, I forget where all you're from, uh, but if you are in the Northeast, are you going to be getting any of this snowstorm that's coming? I am in New York, which is really technically the Mid-Atlantic, but... That's where I am, and that, uh, uh, we're supposed to get some big snow now. Big snow, so. Uh, hauling them packages, let's do that, and then we'll go ahead and... This, uh, this thrombo's about to die. Two hours it's gonna die, and then we're gonna have lots of thrombo meat. I'm really excited about that. Oh, good, an infestation, you've got to be joking. <laughs> oh, Randy. <sighs> you can read that in case you don't know what an infestation is. You you hopefully were just looking at that as you saw me moaning in peril. Oh, gosh. I'm going to read the chat because that will take my mind off of what I'm about to have to deal with. This, is, I, this colony is not going to last much longer. I'm just letting you all know that right now. All right, Zoa is a Floridian, yeah? So you don't get a whole lot uh, except for rain and, uh, you know, the occasional hurricane. I uh, don't get a lot of hurricanes, although we did get one this summer. I forget which one it was. Flipping thing blew my grill straight up off of my back deck and slammed it on the ground. It was all bent up, and I was going to be like, you know what? I can still cook on this. It's fine. And that was a nice grill, too. Like, I, I mean, I, I got it on clearance at the end of a season, so I didn't pay much for it, but it was worth, like, Six or seven hundred dollars. It was a nice, huge, wide grill, like size of a, you know, like those uh, executive desks. Like, I mean, not that big, obviously, but it was huge. And it was beautiful stainless steel. Had like the warmer, had a searing thing, had a thing for cooking your eggs on the side. Oh my gosh. I loved it. I babied that thing. And it took it and whoosh, And I was going to keep using it. I was like, you know what? I can, I can pound metal back into a rough shape. I don't need it to look pretty. I just want it to cook to cook my grill, grilled meat, uh, but I wasn't certain about the uh, any leaks in the gas, and I really did not want to, like in the lines, and I went to replace them, I actually, because I keep spares of stuff, because I'm that guy, um, and I went and I replaced like the gas line from the tank up into the burners, and um, I just, I wasn't confident 
that there wasn't some attachment somewhere up in under the grill that wasn't leaking. And I just, I just didn't want a chance blowing up my house and family. So I didn't. Um, and I ended up just recycling it. Oh, gosh. I don't have a grill anymore. But yeah, so hurricanes, they don't happen much up here. But apparently when they do, they get you. All right, so infestation is a big deal. Yeah, that's how things go here. Infestation, well, at least... Oh, gosh, is that infestation too? I can't tell. That is... This might be... Oh, I don't think I have what it what it's going to take to protect myself from this, especially with so many people hurt and we're running out of food. I'm going to have to open up some packaged survival meals just to survive. Holy cow. I think I do. Okay. Well, we're going to have to do that. Oh, they're already up. Oh, gosh. There they are. Oh, there's so many of them. And they can come right out because this door has got a chunk in the way and it's just not going to... Oh, this is bad. All right. He can't walk. <laughs> he can walk, so that's good. Um, Seku can't walk. Target. Target can't walk. Crane. Crane can walk. Crane's going to have to do something here. Lithe. Lithe can walk. We're going to just drop our... No, we'll just... Yeah, we'll drop this gear and come over here. Uh, who else do we even have? Ladlena. Ladlena can come over. Okay. So, we've got a spell peed. What now? A disease too? Somebody's infected. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, you need to... You need to rescue Seku. You just... We don't have a choice. Um... We're gonna make this medical. Rescue Seku. Um, tend to Seku. Okay, and Crane, you're gonna come right here. And, uh, Lithe. Wow, Lithe, you've got some range on that thing. Dang. Why don't you come right here? Okay, so this is gonna suck. This is just gonna suck. That's just what it is. Just what's gonna happen. Um, let's see if we can't get them one or two at a time, though. Okay. Come on, you can do it! Oh, yes. Oh, no, they're all coming at me now. Oh, it's about to be over. This is no bueno. Oh, this is no bueno. Um, you know, you stay right here, I guess. Oh, gosh. Okay, in, 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 in. Nate, come out. We need you. Oh, they're attacking our animals. They're attacking our animals. We don't have any animals that can attack them yet. Ah! Everyone's gonna die. So, hi, Janet. <laughs> I'm glad you made it. Uh, let's see. This is why you use a fire grill instead of a propane one, even though you have both. Yeah, you know, if, well, all I really needed to have done was um, secured it to the ground. That would have been that would have been good. Oh boy, we're having a we're having problems, Janet. There's lots of problems. So we have problems, and it's bad. None of our people can walk. None of our people can walk because we just had an attack and it went poorly, and now we have. Immediately afterwards, we have... Oh, gosh. Go... Oh, that's why. Attack the thing, then. Gosh, you don't have to just wait... Th sit there waiting for it. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Everyone's gonna die. I might have to reset this stave. Look, they're destroying all of my animals and everything. Everybody's going on... How is that Spellopede stronger than all of my people at once? Yep, everybody's gonna die. Everybody's gonna die. Crane's down. Everybody's down. We're about to die. We're about to die. Ladlena's down. Lithe's about to be down. Seku is injured. Nashoshle is going to attack the Spellipede. Lithe is down. <laughs> Everybody's down. Oh, Janet, how's your day going? <laughs> it's not going well here, I'll tell you what. Yep, it's just taking everything down. We are literally going to have to start over from scratch. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Let's bring the rest of our animals inside, maybe? Oh, gosh, I can't believe it. I can't believe this is happening. I didn't have time to finish making my 
my things over there. Um, let's do. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna bring everybody into the iguanas. There we go. Oh look, there's a death death to my goat doe. Yep, they're just gonna have this is ridiculous. Everybody's dying, laying on the ground. I have no colonists that can even do anything. Um, I know you want to rest, but you need to rescue Crane. Crane is literally the most important person we have right now. So, oh, there they go. Oh, are they really gonna kill it to death? Okay, no, that's good. Both bugs gonna get inside. Where are they gonna go now? They're probably gonna come and get us all. No, let's rescue. No, let's rescue. Oh, you're not gonna get have time to rescue live. So we're gonna rescue Vladlena. Just kidding. You can't do that. You don't even have the ability to do that. So why don't you just go rest until healed? Oh, because these bugs are coming after me. <laughs> Jen, how's your day? It's Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. We're doing two games tonight, just in case we've forgotten. Tuesday, Tuesday, we do a double header. If you're if you're new to the channel, we do a double header every Tuesday. And the first game that we usually play is RimWorld. The second game changes. Today we're going to be trying to finish up our Heroes of Might and Magic four. Uh, we're going to be doing a little bit more of the um, the campaign, the very first mission. I don't know if we're going to be able to finish it or not, but we're going to try. So this is rough. These are going to reproduce and make even more bugs in two point two days. In the meantime. <laughs> Everybody's dying. You know what? You can't walk. You can't walk. We got an infection. I don't even know it's going to work. 10 quality, 16%. Immunity, 11%. Infection is 15%. Seku's probably going to die. Uh, Vladlena is just lying here on the ground. <laughs> so is Lithe. Lithe is going to die. Lithe was born today. I know it says he's 14, but... Oh, no, it was yesterday. 14 in one day. He was born yesterday. And here we are. Oh, look. Verisamago is going berserk because Verisamago is starving to death because we had no food for him. Yummy the Yak died. Alpaca 1 died. Everybody's dying. Medical emergency with Lithe is about to die. We don't have anyone that can take care of him. Yak 2 is dead. Muffalo 2 is dead. Bennington the Yak died. Oh, gosh. This is rough. This is rough. Uh, target is going to go re-equip something. Why? Why are you going to do that? That's not what you want to do. Let's tend to crane, please. Oh, right. There's the bug here. Son of a biscuit. Are you attacking this thing? Did you actually finally hit it? Finish it off, dang it. Finish off the Celipede already. Go. Okay, is it dead? Okay, it's good. Dead. It's... Now we can tend to Crane. Crane is the important one. Crane can shoot with the assault rifle and uh, let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> um, good that you had uh, a good or decent day today. Um, Alpaca 3 is dead. Every Everybody's dead. Lithe died. Oh, gosh. That's going to make my colonists very unhappy because Seku just gave birth to him. I'm pretty sure my son Lithe died. Her lover, Dr. Dre, died, and now her son died. And -go 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 -go! and that's just what happens sometimes. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, well, our animals are going to starve in here now, so I, I guess we got to bring the animals back out to the pasture. Except for the iguanas. We'll keep the iguanas in the iguana section. That makes sense. Um, I don't even know what's going to happen now. I Like, seriously. Vladlena, for some reason, can't even walk. I don't know why. She's got a crack in her humerus. It's not even your your legs. Just get off your butt. Do something. What was that? I thought I just heard a, a boom. Yeah, these things are going to... These things are going to reproduce, too, pretty soon. That's going to suck. All right, well, Target's trying to take care of Crane as much as possible. Crane who is starving. Crane who has an infection now. Noshoshle died? No! Oh, boy. Lied died. Noshoshle died. Well, that's life for you. Or death. Always look on the bright side of death. 
You know, it's all because I attacked that stupid Thrumbo. I thought I was being brilliant. I'm gonna have to restart this stupid game. I can't believe I have to restart this game. Wow, and Rarisimago's over here. Also keeled over, muscle parasites and malnutrition. Extreme malnutrition, because we haven't fed him in days. Because we can't even, can't even live. We're not even living. Living, there is no more living. Everybody's dead. Oh, fix Crane. Please fix Crane. And then, now, look. All you gotta do is rescue her. She's right there. Uh, rest until healed. There you go. Why don't you do that? Oh, Seku! Oh, Target! Target put Seku in the bed on top of the dead Noshashli. Literally right on top of her. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. This game is insane sometimes. I can't even handle it. Uh, everybody dies. Now, Paco makes out with Dr. Dre and a Crane has an infection. Well, Crane, C-R-A-I-N. Crane, um, oh, now Target is uh, passed out um, from the exhaustion. Uh, Target, uh, I should say, Crane Bramp is one of our pylons, one of our faithful followers in this channel. So we thought it would be good to, uh, oh, look! And <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, sometimes this game, because it's procedurally generated, like it's supposed to be a story, sometimes this game is just too much for me. So Target literally was passed out in the freezer because she's ex she was exhausted. She literally passed out from exhaustion uh, after trying to save Crane's life, which may not even happen because he's, he has an infection and the cure has to be acting faster than the infection. And while she's passed out on the floor, gives birth. She gave birth. The <laughs> But the only good thing is, oh, she gave birth to twins? No way. Oh, that's cool. So we have Shaz and Cookie here. The only good thing about this is that now Shaz and Cookie can save and tend to all of the people that have di that are dying. Let's see who needs it first. <laughs> okay, so Crane is... Oh gosh, life-threatening blood loss is not a good thing. Major infection. If you are just coming into the channel, boy, I gotta tell you, we had a we had a siege come on. They outnumbered us two to one. I uh, sent my folk... One of my hunters out to take down a rare thrumbo that had happened to be in the area hoping to turn it manhunter and lure it down into there where they were uh, setting up I did it but it took out two of my um, two of my of my pawns uh, just knocked him out and it didn't kill him thankfully so while that was happening then the, but I did get the thrumbo to go down in there and they like destroyed him pretty good but then they knocked the thrombo down and started attacking us. It was a whole fight. It was a thing. And uh, now we, here we are with um, two dead colonists from that fight. But the problem was, while right after that, hey, look, it's an infestation. So here we are having a fun infestation time now. Um, th these things are gonna. These things are going to reproduce. It's just. There's just no way. There's just no way that that's gonna happen. Everything's out. We had a uh, a criminal who went berserk because we never we didn't feed her, uh, him, her. We didn't feed her. She broke out through two doors into a third door and then collapsed from exhaustion and malnutrition. And now we have a uh, pregnant woman who can't even get up. Oh my gosh! But she just gave birth to twins. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm, this guy wants to, he's, oh gosh, literally just born, and he's like, you know what, forget this, I'm getting that smoke leaf joint, and I'm just gonna forget about all of this nonsense, oh man, oh, this has been the craziest RimWorld game I think I've ever played in my life, uh, so that's it in a nutshell, <laughs> alright, let's see here, let's rescue Target, Can, you don't want to rescue your very own mother, literally, literally don't want to, I don't want to rescue her. You don't want to do that. Try to arrest. I don't want to arrest. I want her... To, oh, gosh. So is she fine? Oh, she's just sleeping. That's why. That's why. Okay. Um, so we've lost a couple. We need to get... Um, tended to. We need to get you... Tended to... People need to be tended to. People need to be fed. Everybody's just done. Everybody's just done right now. So this is crazy. Oh, Crane. Yeah, this would be absolutely bleak. Dude, I'm very sorry to say you're probably going to die. 
Um, you are, you can see here, malnutritioned, you have no recreation, you have extreme blood loss, and you're infected, and you were uh, treated by somebody with no doctor skill. So your, as you can see there, your infection is 68%, but your immunity is 73%. You might pull through as long as the blood loss doesn't kill you first. Um, oh gosh, this has been rough. So I should tell you, Crane, that um, Seku gave birth and uh, to a great Twi'lek who is now dead. Uh, the day after he was born. So that was rough. At tw but Target gave, tw uh, gave birth to twins. So things are looking up. Things are looking up. But we still have all these dang things here. I can't even wall them in. I don't even know what I'm going to do with them, frankly. Um, <laughs> I really don't. Uh, so Nate is starving. Seku is all right. Not all that bad. Uh, why don't we go ahead and bury Noshoshle? <laughs> I wish that these things... These stupid things attacked all of our muffalos and alpacas and yaks instead of going after our bears. If it attacked our bears, we, our bears might have had a chance. We have a breeding pair of bears. A pair of bears. Uh, Crane Brown obviously wants to play ping pong. There's no table. I am a monster. We didn't even have a chess table. In fact, you were in the middle of building it. You only had 330 work left to do on it um, when, when the siege hit. But hey... We got a free mortar out of it, so at least I got that going for me, which is nice. <laughs> uh, what kind of even shells do they have? Oh, wait, are they? There they are. Uh, just incendiary. That uh, would have been helpful to have before all this started. Oh, I could use that to hit all of these things. Oh, look at they are. They're going after Bennington. Okay. Oh no. Oh, well, Bennington and Yummy both died, uh, which kind of sucked. Let's do this. I'm gonna make a new area, a brand new area. I'm just gonna call it Area One. Area One is going to be right here and inside here and right about here and that's going to be where I put my bears and maybe my bears will go and I don't know do something save my darn lives here uh, where are Shaz and Cookie <laughs> what are you doing Cookie okay uh What are you doing? Are you eating? No. Kill this thing. Okay, here we go. This should be a little bit better now. Uh, Alpaca 4 is dead. Okay, come on. Oh, no. I was hoping you would double team them. Oh, no. This could be the end of my bears, too. This is... Oh, man. This is the worst, uh, worst game I've ever played. This is just kind of like... I'm just going to sit here and drink and watch the carnage. Because what else can you do at this point? It's not that I'm out of ideas, it's just that I don't know how much I actually care anymore. Alright, 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 so... Here, do this then. Okay, um... I'm trying to use creative use of, of areas to bring, to force my bears into one spot so that okay there we go so hopefully now it'll come up here and attack okay it did shaz help him out go ahead go in and help him out you're gonna die too it's just gonna happen so seku died no my bears are gonna die shaz is gonna die everybody's gonna die this is great this is lots of fun <laughs> oh my poor baby muffalo just died t is gonna die too uh four hours gonna breathe out uh, bleed out shaz is down Where's Cookie? Cookie's uh, unloading that inventory there. You know, like you do. How are these things still alive? There's so much health. That is crazy. <sighs> Crane, how's your day going? I'm, I need the man in black to show up. He's Before long, he's going to, too. This is insane. There goes my muffalo calf. I still have three of these stupid things here, and I think another one up here. Yep. Although that one's bleeding out in 20 hours, so that's a good sign. None of these ones are bleeding out. Oh, that one's bleeding out in 16 hours, so that's a good sign. Oh, come on, Shaz. Wake up, Shaz. Oh, you can. Rescue Shaz. Go do it. Death the Muffalo Calf 2. We're going to have a lot of stuff to do. Figures came before I showed up. Let's see. Was there a line you passed at some point where the colony... Yeah, no, I, it definitely... 
It definitely passed before you showed up. It was when we had a back-to-back -back siege raid that doubled our numbers. And then as soon as that was done um, and we had a rampaging thrumbo, uh, the, these uh, infestation happened and it was right there. We didn't have a door for it, so... I mean, there really at that point there was there was no hope. So I'm just kind of throwing everything I can can after it. Now I'm just kind of hoping my livestock lasts long enough so I can kind of try and save something. Uh, you know what? I know I know you want to go do that, but honestly, I don't want you to walk all the way across there. So doctor care only, and no um, no medicine because we just. We just don't have any medicine. We just can't get there in time and bring it back. Um, you're cooking meals, but I think that we could be better served <laughs> by helping tend to people. Whoops, let's not do that. Let's tend to Crane. Crane, be tended to. Oh, you're ex... ex oh, gosh. Your immunity is 95%, but, like, <laughs> I still don't know that it's going to happen. Uh, doing good was finishing up some rumble yourself. Excellent. W were you uh, doing that big mod list that uh, that you had posted? Yeah, this is not going to happen. I've got wandering insectoids. The I've got no livestock anymore. What have I got? I have my three iguanas, and that's pretty much it. I can't believe even my bears died. Oh, no. Cookie, run. Run, Cookie, run. <laughs> oh, at least this one brought down this spellipede. A mega spider, though. Yeah, that's problems. Okay. Vlad Lane is trying to tend Shaz so that Shaz doesn't die, but Shaz is bleeding out in three hours, and that's a lot of cuts right there. So that's not going to happen either. That's Cookie's twin. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Bayhouse is in the house. Welcome to the carnage, Bayhouse. This is, this is, oh, gosh, this is bad. This is so awful. Uh, Cookie's trying. <laughs> If I could even just save Crane, who is my cook, that's like the most important one. Oh, my grizzly bear one died. No. Those grizzly bears were bloody expensive. I gave like all my silver for that. What do we got here? I have 1,400 silver left and that's it. I've got roaming mega spiders, spellipedes. Things are dying, but nobody's happy. There's my other grizzly bear. It's dead too. Ah. <sighs> I see a different pack you were testing for Crane Bramp. Uh, Rimfeller was oil. Oh, really? That's cool. Gastronomy, uh, run a ro restaurant and a hotel, and Rim Factory automation, interesting setup. Bay House, imagine that. Oh, were you just kidding? <laughs> were you guys hanging out together? All right, hold on. Before Cookie goes out there, who needs rescue? Vlad Lena needs rescue. Why don't you go ahead and rescue Vlad Lena? <clears throat> Death of Muffalo Calf 3. Everything is di Everything is dying. Oh, and Target is still collapsed on the floor because she not only just gave pregnant, gave birth, but collapsed because she was exhausted. Everything is cool when you're just dying. Uh, things bad. You should see me trying to solo a horde night. Did you just try to do that, Bayhouse? And by the way, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a horde night on Friday night. If you have never come watch us on Twitch, Bayhouse. Epic Dad and Sleepin' Mongoose and I do a foursome of um, of whatever it's called, Seven Days to Die, and we do hordes every three nights, and guess what? It's night 21. That's math for we have a horde night. So come Friday night, you will see a brilliant horde night. By brilliant, I mean terrible. Bayhouse is building us, though, a legit... It's not a siege structure. What's, what's it called, like, the defensive part? Like, when you're defending and you're creating a nice under siege thing I don't know whatever that word would be uh, breastworks it's not really crenellations I don't know really what it would be but whatever it is he's built it and it's awesome and I can't wait uh, let's see 10 to Shaz Shaz is gonna die Shaz is gonna die right now then never mind uh, cookie why don't you just do what you can do what you can uh, did this guy die yeah Rarissimago is dead even our prisoners have died here. That's so been the bottom priority, though. <laughs> Let's be honest. Uh, so we've got... Oh, look. So that Mega Spider's dead. That one's going to bleed out in an hour. That one's got two hours, though. I wonder if I could try and have... So that I can at least have something. Oh, and it's a female. Um, hmm. 
Where's the rest of those insects? There's an insects. What, what, what do you got for gear here? Your submachine gun. Maybe I should just try to take out these bad guys. That's what I think I'm going to do. Uh, crane. Life-threatening conditions. But your immunity has developed. Oh, right. And then we got right before the siege, we had three people get muscle parasites. So there was that too. Uh, it doesn't work. It is, it is crap. You tried it? Oh, wait, how did you try it? Did you get into our game? Can you get into our game? I thought I had to be uh, live in order for people to get into it. Oh, is this one live too? Ah, oh, poop. Ah, oh, poop. Okay, from right here. Yeah, go ahead. You're such a terrible shot. What the heck? Six. You're supposed to be a six. It's not great, but it's not not as bad as this all is making it out to be. And another spellipede up here. Oh, did you kill it? Oh, Shaz is dead. Wah, wah. Um, do you have any guns? No, you have no guns. Let's go ahead and feed Nate. Oh, let's actually go ahead and feed Vladlena. And then we will, um, uh, tend to Vladlena. And then we will, um, I guess we're going to go ahead and bury Seku. That we've had two people. The last two people who have been in that very spot have died. So, idle colonists. Do I have idle colonists? Are you kidding me? Like really, right now? Okay, no, I don't. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. So, target, target. You're my, you're my only hope. Help me, target. You're my only hope. Oh boy. Oh boy. Muffalo four is dead. Shaz is dead. Go away. Go away. Signs. This one is... I'm going to die. This is this is ridiculous. Oh, she hit him. Go away. Run. Run. They're both coming at us. Uh, do I have another gun in here? I've got this. Oh! Oh! Oh, equip the assault rifle. Go for it. Hey! Hey! It's not all lost yet. <laughs> it's close, but it's not all lost yet. I swear to you, I'm going to still try to do this. Oh, look at that. We got it. We got it down. Dude. Uh, where's the other one? That's it, isn't it? Oh, no. Har okay, Cookie. Cookie, you're coming here. Target, you're going to finish off the Mega Spider. Cookie, you're going to cover. Cover. Cover fire. Cover fire. Cover fire. Cover fire yourself. Run away. Run away! Oh, yes! Oh, my gosh! I... I think I just ended the immediate threat. Finish off the spellipedes. Do it. Now. There's another one inside for a mega spider. Go take care of it. That's dead. Finish off the spellipede and then melee attack the hives. And then target. Actually, why don't you go ahead and melee attack this hive. Oh my gosh. I think I just did it. I think I just did it. I think I just did it. Oh. We've lost, like, everyone. We don't have a colony anymore. It doesn't exist, but... Oh, I thought that was another raid. I was like, you gotta be freaking kidding me. But it wasn't, so yay. Yay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. You can go rest, please. Rest until healed. Oh, oops. Finish that off. There we go. Um, and I don't even care if you eat that stuff, frankly. Uh, why don't we tend to Vladlena and then bury Seku? Oh my gosh. I think, I think it's time. I think it's time. I'm going to go ahead into the options and I'm going to go to the AI settings if I can find them. And I, yeah, we'll see. We're on Strive to Survive. It wasn't the best, like the hardest one. Uh, but I think we're going to go on uh, Phoebe Chillax and Peaceful for a minute. I need to pick up the pieces just a little bit. So I think next Tuesday is going to be all about picking up the pieces. I don't, oh my gosh, I don't, e I don't even know. Let's save this. Um, this would be 008. And, oh gosh, we went a little bit long on this one. But, oh man, I think... I think we actually, I think we actually ended all of the immediate threats. I don't know who's gonna die of who's left. Cookie will live. 
Crane might live if he can pull out through the... Oh, well, now he's only got the muscle parasites. Uh, you're not actually... Um, muscle parasites can't be done anything with now. <laughs> Vladlane is literally sleeping on top of a dead body because whoever saved her said, Oh, look, there is this empty bed. It's got a hospital marking. We might as well just put Vladlane on top of that covers. Why is it so lumpy? Uh, maybe it's because Seku is dead in the bed right there and you just plopped her right on top. But here's the funny part. Seku was put on top of the dead Noshoshle just a few minutes earlier. Noshoshle we took away. Seku died there. And now Vladlane is there, so... There we are. <laughs> so that's been our day. Um, all of our animals are dead. We've lost every single animal except for our three iguanas, whom we might have to sell. But they were all locked up in here. We have no nothing. Uh, we're not running... Well, that still says seven degrees below zero. Oh, because we have a windmill. And, like, we haven't filled a wood fire generator in days, I feel like. Um, we have all these dead bodies because of this stupid infestation. So we're gonna we're gonna do that next time. Phoebe Chillax on um, on peaceful setting is gonna be next Tuesday, so that we can try and rebuild. I want to try to do a little bit, maybe, to salvage this colony. If we can, we will. Uh, but it's not gonna be pretty. In the meantime, we are gonna switch over to. Our second game of the night, because it's Tuesday, Tuesday. If you've never been to the channel before, that's what we do on Tuesday. We do a doubleheader, and uh, the game would, if it could, you're absolutely right, it would if it could, Crane Bramp. Uh, so we're going to switch over. I have Heroes of Might and Magic 4. Oops. There we go. We've got all sorts of sound going on now. Um, I'm going to switch out of this. I'm going to switch into... Hold on, sorry. Technical difficulties, my bad. There we go. Let's see if that worked. Hey, all right. So, all right, we are playing the campaign of Heroes of Might and Magic 4. This is one of my favorite games of all time. I love strategy games. We're playing through the campaign. The first mission, we've been doing that for a couple of weeks now. And uh, now I'm hoping to load this up. I don't know that we're gonna finish it tonight, but I'm really gonna try. We just made our way through all of the teal players, and I think we got a large portion of the red players' main army. So I don't, I always play conservative with these things, so I don't want to press the attack just in case they have more, because we're really hurting uh, for troops. Um, oh, that's right, that's what happened. We didn't do that because we played, and Lysander's army was destroyed, and so we had to go back a little bit. Um, I actually need to load a different game, a different save. We're going to load auto save, load the auto save. So here he was. He was going to go and attack them. They, he just destroyed us. That was awful. That was awful. So we're actually going to come back here and we're going to, we're going to hang out here for a bit. Hope they don't come after us. Of course, if they didn't have the castle walls, we probably would have had a pretty darn good chance of winning. Um, hey, no problem. Zoa, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, you, I will see you in game. Uh, we play a game together and, um, on the on our phones here so um it's so good to see you man thanks for supporting me i really appreciate it and i uh, can't wait to see you in, in the game in the meantime i am going to see about making all of my heroes as strong as possible we already possess this knowledge i can't remember if he's been here or not though oh no he hadn't advanced nobility sweet um and let's go and attack these guys what do we have in here Oh, we don't have anything in there. All right, so one of the things we need to do is we need to spend some of our gold and get as much dang troops as possible. So we're going to start with these. Uh, we're going to come along towards this. Right there. Uh, I want to try and get as many troops as possible. I really would like to make this happen as quickly as possible. I don't think it's going to happen tonight. But the faster it can happen, the more fun we all will have. So uh, let's do these ones. And I'll bring those two just for kicks and giggles. Where are you even at? Oh, you're these ones. Oh. Oh. Okay. So let's just come right down here and do that. Um, how is everybody doing tonight? Bayhouse, I know you're, that I saw you jump in. How are you this evening? Are you, uh, are you enjoying yourself? It's a Tuesday. What have you been up to today? Give me a, give me a big... 
Give me a big info dump. Tell me all about it. What's been good? Uh, we're going to take... Oh, we got a bunch of paladins. That's good. Bunch of archers. Uh, I want to buy these peasants as well. Or squires, rather. And we're going to bring them right on down. Let's go! If I can steal an expression from Dad Games Badly. Let's go! Alright, what else do we have here? Oh, man, that's used up, like, all my money. Uh, let's do... This... And we'll move that hero back in, because we don't care about him. Uh, okay, okay. Maybe we do care about him for a second. Uh, first, we're going to come here. We're going to get as many of these as we can. So I can see now that there's some um, satyr spawns, whatever they call them in this game, um, that are blocking some areas, and we're going to have to clear them out if we want to get any of our troops. So that's going to be a bummer. But we can do, though... We can do this. Ah, oh, my angels. Ah, oh, I love angels. They're such awesome, awesome troops. So we're going to do all of that and buy the rest of these. Get them down into here. And now we can send those to help out and reinforce the rest of them. That's our hope, my hope anyways. Maybe we can send them right into here. Um, oh, no, there's no room. Let's do this. We'll take the... The ballista don't have enough. Yeah, there we go. You guys go there. My angels can come on down and join in... No, you don't have them. Do you? Where are all my angels? Oh, there's my angels. All right, so my angels are going to come down here and join in with Proetho. Oh... Okay, I didn't want to do that. I keep forgetting. So, <laughs> the problem with this game is it's so old that the controls are not what you would expect for one of these games. Eh, it's life. What do you know? What can you do? Um, okay, so it looks like we bought just about everything we can. We're going to go around now to the, some of the different areas uh, and buy more troops. We are running low on things that are going to go boom. We're going to help them to go boom. Uh, angels, coming right over here. Proetho, come grab the rest of the angels. 17 angels now. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, we shouldn't have any problem with these guys. This guy, then. I'm going to take a quick drink of water. I can tell that I'm dying here. Uh, let's fight you, because I, I really want the experience points. Oh, this is going to be a piece of cake. Who are we going to die? Who are we going to attack first? Who are we going to Who are we going to kill? Let's attack you first. That way, hopefully, this guy won't be able to come down and get me. The other ones probably will. But that's okay, because these this one shouldn't be able to. He may, though. Uh, it would have been nice. Can I cast a spell? Can I? What spell can I cast? Do I know any spells? I do know spells. Oh, because this is pro Etho. Let's do spiritual armor. Right on the angels. Yeah, that works. Um, oh, 720 of these things. I didn't realize I had quite so many. Let's have you go and skadoosh. You can... Ah, oh, there's no, not a lot there. And you can try to skadoosh these guys, but it didn't really work. But there we go. Now we're going to get them. Okay, there we go. Problem solved. We got a little bit of experience now for Proetho, and that works for me. Oh, even leveled up. Sweet. Master Spirituality. Effectiveness of Life Magic Spells. One of the requirements for that. Basic melee, basic tactics, what plus one speed and movement. Ooh, that's tempting. I think we are gonna go with that. Let's go with basic tactics. I know it's not like your traditional you know, white mage role, but I kinda just I really do do want to do that. Um I got enough for one monk. What are we gonna do with Proetho? Ugh. What can we ever do with Proetho? That good for nothing. Lollygagger. Hope everybody's doing well out there in chat land. Make sure you come say hi. I'd love to hear from you. See what you're doing tonight. See what's good. See what's bad. See what's ugly. Um, you make me uh, you make me happy. And I want to know what makes you happy and what's making you happy tonight. We're going to try to do only good vibes tonight. Oh, you know what I got to do? I'm going to have to do this. This is going to be... Oh, man, I feel bad. But I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to... I have to switch out so that I can switch the game so that people don't come in here expecting RimWorld. 
I want to change my oh I never remember how to do that there it is right yeah Tuesday Tuesday now we're doing heroes of might and magic four so that people know what we're up to and there we go that should be good sorry about that brief intermission let's see what can we do with him we're gonna bring you up here too all right so that's good so now we're gonna go ahead and come around and get as many of these as we can um, so that when we come back over here hopefully we will be strong enough to defeat these satyrs that's really what I'm hoping to be able to do. That's what all of this purpose has been for. So we're going to send him down even to re reinforce us here. And bring him in. And let's see if we can't f fight him on that next turn. Get our monk. I have no room to add monks. Well, let's bring the peasants out. Fine. Fine then. Uh, bring the peasants down here. They go so slowly. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Actually, better idea for the peasants. Peasants, you come up here and get all those archers for me because that would be actually really helpful. Please, thanks. You're the best. Uh, I can get my one monk, and now we can come down here and help out a little bit. So, most, like I said, most of what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to build my armies up and get into position so I can attack the red army without them taking like all of the, uh, all of the things that I have and killing them. Because that's what I don't want. I hear that's bad. I'm literally going to take all of Proetho's army, though, and just skadoosh right up into here. Uh, and I'm going to switch out the knights with um, with my angels, cause I, just because I have more of them. I'm kind of wondering... Oh, no, I like the pikemen for their ability to reach two squares away. I don't want to break up my archers, um, but should I do the 100... The Crusaders, I can think, can attack twice. So I want to keep them over the squires, even though they can stun them. And um, have I have a lot more of them. So I think that's probably going to be good. Proetho, in the meantime, is kind of just going to go... Well, you know what? Let's have him come over here. Oh, if he enters these cities, I can get him to uh, to learn the spells or whatever that might be in these here. I don't... Um, is it not the monastery? Whatever it is. Altar of Light it might be? No, I don't remember. Um, anyway. That's that. Uh, let's get you to join in here. Anything left over will go into here. Look at that. Just like that. Oh, you know what I should do? You know what I should do? I want to do... There we go. That's how I do it. Okay, shift. Um, because I want to split you up into two so I have two groups to attack with. There we go. That's much better. I'm going to put Proetho in the back and protect him with those troops like that. Okay. That makes much more sense, and now I feel a little bit safer about that. Let's go and see if we can't get these guys to come up to us. Yeah, let them run. Do it. Uh, I don't want to attack those griffins, like, at all. But I do want to come up here and try and get any of those... Is that crusaders? No, that's not crusaders. That's pikemen. I want to get those pikemen up here. That would be really helpful, I think. It's going to help me, anyway. Uh, the knights... Well, let's start here, then. Anything that can go up into there will, and then everything else can go into um, into the army with Proetho, and that will help to build up Proetho's army with the things that I can't fit in with, uh, oh gosh, what's the guy's name? I don't even remember. Uh, the, the, the king. Um, oopsies. What is his name? What's his name? Lysander. Lysander. The king, or the king that would be. Um, we should probably move these guys around. That's better. Okay, so I don't think I don't think uh, that I don't think that Lysander is good in the front row, but it's better than what it could be. And I really just want him to wait and hang out and not do anything. So if he doesn't get in trouble, then maybe he won't die, and that'll be swell. Oh yeah, let's see. Well, why don't we take? Why don't we take all these Fey then? We might as well just take them, right? Right? I mean, what, what's the trouble in taking the Fey with us? 
Uh, you can go there. And that'll be it. The other three we're going to send on our way. Um, you can come on over here. Let's bring these guys out, and that will allow us to put them back in the army with Lysander and continue to build them up. So this is really what I want to do, um, and that's going to be that's going to be most of the next few minutes. Oh, whoops! My army. Why is my army so small? Huh? I meant to put all these guys over here with with, uh, with Proetho, and I completely forgot. What a what a moron. Oh, surprise, I'm a doof. Oh, now we got 14 knights. That's a lot better. That's a lot better than we were off before. Uh, sprites can go up in the front. And we'll let them do their luck stuff. And then what were we doing then? These ones? Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. You can come right over here. And I'm just going to remove these around so that I can do this. And boom. We're good. Oh, that's perfect. Let's go get ourselves some more crossbowmen. How's it going out there in chat land? Hope you guys are having a good night. I know that I am enjoying myself. Hey, look. I mean, it's, it's, it's a weeknight. But I get to be here and hang out with you all. And play video games. And like after a long day at work. And it was a long day at work. It's really nice to be able to do that. So thank you for joining us here. I want to give you a little uh, cheers or slaint. Mm. Perfect. That's exactly what I need. Just a little, uh, just a little hello. Oh, we got some pikemen now. So now we are a force to be flipping reckoned with. And we're gonna go after. We're gonna go after these darn things over here. Let them run. See what happens next. Let them go. I do want to see if we have any more angels, though. We do have an angel. Nice. I'll bring the an angel. You know what? All of these can go into my army with Lysander. So let's just, might as well just bring them, right? Uh, that red one. We're going to go. Oh, no. We don't want to go over there. We want to come down here. Right there. Is there a monk over here? Because if there is. Well, you know what? We'll let, let these guys get them on the way back. Sweet. That's going to be the end of our turn. Oh, yes. Let's do it. Let's do this. What can we get for an army in these villages? Anything going to help us out? Yeah, we'll take these guys. And then we're going to come down here and skadoosh him in a minute. And take those out for now and bring them on over here to join with Lysander. I gotta build up my army. Lysander's army is so underwhelming right now because he was attacked. We attacked like two huge objects or armies in a row. Things just aren't going well for us. So that's what we're up to right now. Once we get his army up, we're gonna go and we're going to attack the bad guys. The bad guys. And it's gonna be awesome. So we're just building that up all right now with hopes of destructions. Let him run. I don't... I really just want to let him all run, too. Uh, I don't know if this guy can learn nature magic yet, but... If it's free, might as well. And then come over here. We'll get, uh... Squires. I think we have squires. Those are squires, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure is. And that's that. All right. All right, let's go. We're going to fight them now. I want to fight them because I really do want to uh, get... Oh, we got a lot more than they do, but I want to move them back away a little bit. All right. Okay, hold on. So you have fortune. Let's give fortune to these guys. And uh, I'm just going to back up a little bit because I don't want that... These harpies can probably reach me from there. And then I want to do... Heavenly shield. Oh, that's on me. Shoot. I can do that. Yeah, see, they're going to attack us. Uh, well, he can move back out of the way so that she can't attack. But he can, she can attack that one. So all it's going to take, though, for me to win is to just be able to attack with my strong units. And that's kind of what I'm doing. But it does still take time. And that's the problem. Is the amount of time it takes. Uh, we can do... Oh, I don't have anyone left. So I guess we're just going to try and make our way up, I guess? Sure. 
These ones can attack. Or let's go right over here. And then hopefully we'll be able to get on the next round. Um, how about now? I What I wanted to do before was... Oh, where is it? Celestial Armor, that's the one I want to do. Everybody gets stronger. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool and you're part of it. Alright, I guess we're done. Yeah, you can wait. Because I really want my knights to attack. They're super strong and that's just what they do. They attack things. I pick things up and put them down. That's what they do. I, you know, that's how it works. Well, it looks like we got them. Oh, wow, we actually lost some guys. Shoot, I didn't realize so. But Proetho resurrected one of them from the dead. How about those other two? Those poor guys. They're poor wives. <laughs> uh, might as well go ahead and fight these guys as well. Let's get some fighting on. We're going to wait off. Um, you're going to wait. You're going to cast luck or fortune, I guess, on these ones. These ones. And then we're going to bring... Oh, wait. No, let's do this. We're going to bring you... Oh, shoot, I didn't want to do that. Urg. Let's do this then. Uh, celestial armor, that gives everybody a little bit more stronger. Defense. And that'll be good for when we have to go and attack these guys. These guys. There's a lot of those little leprechauns there. Those bloody jerks. That's what they're called, jerks. That's what we call them. Uh, let's do these guys here. Oh, wow. Get them twice, then. Let's do it. Oh, uh, we can't get through over there? Oh, that's bunk. Um, all right, let's make our way up, then. Yeah, there go a bunch of those. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Darn it. We got 370. Holy cow. We have a lot of squires over here. I have to learn a... Um, a long range spell, some kind of a damage thing for them. Like, seriously. Alright, let's. Oh no, that didn't even. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just did that. I might have just ruined. Ruined my luck on some things, shall we say. I'm losing, like, all of my sprites. My poor sprites. They're so sad. They're like, why are you doing this to us? Gamer Pile, don't you love us? No, no I don't, as you can see by the fact that I'm just letting you all get slaughtered. <sighs> An idiot. Me, I'm the idiot, not you. I'm the idiot. Oh, I, f I own it fully. That's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. Alright, so we're right now we're going to go around with these this guy, and we're going to get all of the armies that we can. So that we can bring them to Lysander, so that he can attack the Red Army. Yay! Wouldn't that be nice? Be done with this map here. We don't want to move them. And these guys are going to come right on down and skadoosh, join right in. Oh man, that was brutal when we tried to attack before. That was bad. That was bad. Oh, uh, what were we doing with this guy? Were you guys making... Oh, you're making your way over there. Yeah, we knew that. I knew that. All right, now I'm going to actually drink some water. I meant to drink some water before, and I didn't. <laughs> so here we're going to do some water now. You know, it's funny. Sometimes you don't realize how thirsty you are. Right up until you have to take a drink, and then you, like, do, and you're like, Oh, that tastes so good. And generally speaking, you know, like, when... When it tastes that good, it means you are probably super thirsty. So here we are. Okay, let's buy ourselves some armies. Uh, the only ones we actually want are those ones. The rest of them are going to have to go to Lysander. So why don't we... What are we going to do? Hmm. I guess this is going to actually be my new defensive force. So we'll hang out over here somewhere. And I will bring all of these as my advance force over uh, to get... Um, well, why don't we do this? We've got a little bit extra movement points. Plus seven movement. Dang, that's a lot. It's not going to get us there in the first turn, but it's still going to get us there pretty quickly. <gasps> Janet! 
Okay, have a great night. I know I'm beat too. Um, thank you so much for coming tonight. And thank you so much for uh, redeeming pickle juice shot. Here it is. I have my pickle juice here. I had to put it in this container because uh, the glass one, the metal rim on it, was starting to corrode a little bit. Not like bad corrode, just like regular canning corrode. Um, but I wanted to wash off all of the acidity of the um, of the vinegar. So here we are. I've got my shot glass. I've got my pickle juice. We're going to marry the two. That is a legit shot of pickle juice. This is going to be terrible. You, you know, you did hear me just say that my body clearly needs more water because of how much water I just, or how much I just enjoy drinking that water. Um, and now you're going to make me drink all this salty, vinegary deliciousness, right? Like that's what you're going to do. But here it is. Uh, thank you for redeeming this, Janet42. Uh, this is for you. One shot of pickle juice down the hatch. I'm going to have to hold on to my <laughs> headphones so they don't drop off the back when I do this. But here we go. Bottoms up. Oh, my. Oh, that is some sour stuff. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for redeeming that. Oh, that'll make you a pucker. So these are, um, this pickle juice happens to be from Maine. For those of you that don't know, I grew up in Maine. I go back whenever I'm able to. Uh, it's obviously not been recently, but um, there is a, a sandwich chain in Maine called Amato's. And if you've never had Amato's, it is, it's worth driving to Maine just to get them and then driving home. I don't care how far away you are. California, pff, why not? Russia, get in that car. Um, that's just the way it goes. <gasps> Judo Cruz is raiding? What? What? Are you kidding me? Judo Cruz, you are the man. Thank you so much. Thank you for that raid. Holy cow. That's awesome. Judo Cruz, right there, buddy. That's where it makes you feel. You just got me. Um, hey, Gamer Boy, thank you for the follow. That's awesome. This is great. So we are uh, playing some Heroes of Might and Magic 4. I just was told to do a uh, Tristan Grant following too. Thank you. Oh, man, you are all awesome. And I'm going to give you a big old emote for that. I'm going to give you an A emote for that. If I can figure out which keyboard I have to press. Thank you so much, uh, Judo Cruz, and everyone who's following and everyone who came with him. We're playing Heroes of Might and Magic 4. We're playing the, the campaign mode. Uh, it's two for Tuesday, Tuesday, where we do a double feature. We played RimWorld earlier. <laughs> we got our butts handed to us. It was awful. Uh, and then, so just check out the replay for that, because it was it was event after event after event, and half of our colony's dead now. Uh, <laughs> and now we're playing an old school game, because I feel like I can play this a little bit better. We're trying to fi finish the first campaign mission. I don't think it's going to happen tonight, but we're playing it. We're building our armies back up so we can go attack red. We've taken teal out like completely. It's gone now. Um, and I just got a shot of pickle juice redeemed, which is pretty sweet. And half the colony is dead. Hype! Start that hype train. Woo! Woo! Thank you for the cheering uh, those bits, Judo. That's awesome. <laughs> so yeah, we are uh, having a good time. Because if we can't beat the games, we can at least have shots of pickle juice. But I was saying, uh, this this particular pickle juice came from Maine at a place, uh, this place called Amato's, and their sour pickles, oh man, their sour pickles are so sour. It makes like the boar's head sour pickles they sell in your deli. It makes them it makes them taste like kosher dill, if even that. Maybe like bread. It tastes like bread. That's how sour it is. I can't describe to you how sour it is. You just have to go to Maine and try it yourself. I live in New York now, but Maine is my, where my heart is. I grew up right on the ocean. Hey, Tristan, thank you so much. We got the hype train going. We do have a hype train going. This is the first time. Hey, Judo, Tristan, I got to tell you something. I haven't been streaming very long, I know, so take that with a grain of salt. But this is the first time I've ever had two people back-to-back -back, uh, cheer some bits. And you it's never expected... I just want to have a good time with you, but oh my gosh, I can't tell you, you just, you both just made my night. Thank you, thank you so much. That's awesome. I can't wait to tell Lady Pyle about this. She's going to be pumped. So thank you both. That's awesome. Ah, oh, now I feel like my Lysander, that's, this is Lysander right here. He's the main character. If he dies, then you lose the game. Um, or Proetho, he's the other na main named character. If he uh, dies, I don't... He probably would also... Wait, what? No. 
Are you kidding me? Tristan, dude, two in a row? My man. Oh, this is awesome. I just like half disappeared there because of my green screen settings. <laughs> it, it's not easy being green. You know, this is the way I am, I guess. I blend in with the background. Oh, I should be a spy. Anyway, we're trying to get all of our armies from these. These big blocks are our cities. The little blocks are the things that give us our uh, gold or gems or whatever every turn. Or they are things that, like this one, this one right here, these castles, uh, where I could re recruit army members. Uh, so right now we are going around and we're collecting all the army members we can get. And we are trying to clear out the area so that we can send our big army, Lysander, down to clear out as much of red as possible so that all he has left is that one tiny village. Even though we can't attack the village right now, we're not strong enough. My goal eventually is to go and get as many of them as possible and clear them out. That's what I want. So, uh, okay, let's see what we got here. I, there's so many chat things and I just was missing them all. So I'm so sorry. Let's catch up. <laughs> Let me explain. No, no, no. There's no time. Let me sum up. Uh, we got some hypes. Oh, man. Thank you again for that. All I need is a green hat and shirt. It'll be just be a floating head. Oh, and tie my beard green. <laughs> just need this right here. <laughs> oh, that would be so funny. Oh, that's great. Uh, that would be that would be epic. You're absolutely right, Judo Cruz. There, it's literally. I don't use that word lightly, but that is, is exactly what that would be. I want to get one of those morph suits. That's like the spandex that covers every part of you. Uh, that would be funny too. <laughs> um, okay, so it looks like we got most of our things here. Let's go up to the top and see if we have any more angels. We don't have any more angels to buy. Um, although while we're here, let me just look. Where are my knights at? Okay, so there's the knights. Let's buy the knights. Uh, I want to bring them down to my secondary army. Um, I don't want the wolves, and I don't want that bad hero. So we'll bring everything else. Where are we here? Okay, so we're going to make our way down with these guys, and that'll help to reinforce Lysander as well. Uh, how's everybody doing tonight? It's I know it's Tuesday, but like I'm in the Northeast. Like I said, I'm in New York. We're going to get a, a killer snowstorm apparently tomorrow night. Some parts of the area are supposed to get two feet of snow. We haven't seen two feet of snow in my, where I am right now since in a while. It's been several years. Uh, so I am like pumped. I love snow. I love snow. I love snow. Uh, so, yeah. That's what I think. Oh, right, 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 right. So we're going to put you right here behind Lysander. Because now I'm going to have Proetho, my backup character. He's going to be my sentry. Make sure that Red doesn't come up and just kind of sweep their way through all my unprotected villages. Lysander now is going to be the one that, uh, that goes into Red and takes everybody out. But I want... I want those reinforcements first. So I'm going to go up here. I am going to... I am, Oh, look, I've got angels now, though, so that's good. Um, we'll do this. We'll get the rest of those armies. And I don't want these things at all. So we're going to bring those through. I don't know that I can fit angels in there, but... Hey, Bayhouse is back. So good to see you back, Bayhouse. Uh, you are the man and my friend, and I appreciate that. Uh, let's bring you down. Oh man, angels have such huge movement points, especially over land. I love it. Let's uh, combine these guys with these monks and such and bring them over here to the crusaders and then we can add them to both of our armies. Wow, 600 squires. I forgot I had so many squires. That's pretty cool. Um, so, uh, good. I'm glad you're having, you're doing all right, Tristan. Um, tell me, do you, do you stream? Do you play? What do you do? What do you like? Tell me a little bit about yourself and uh, judo. I know all about judo. He's one of my one of my guys. He's awesome. Um, and who else we had? We had someone else here that I saw, but I can't see it now. Oh, Rose, Rose! I didn't even know that you were still. Oh, you're coming back. Oh, I was like Rose. I didn't know you were even still like lurking. That's amazing. Uh, welcome back. Oh, gamer boy, right? Gamer boy, gamer boy. Make sure you uh, make sure you. Make sure you tell me how you're doing tonight. For those of you that did come in on Judo's Raid, do me a quick favor if you could, please. Down in the bottom left corner, please click my icon once and then click it a second time. That way I'll be able to get credit for all of your awesomenesses of being here. And that'll make me happy. And uh, that's good because you wouldn't like me when I'm angry, Cap. 
Uh, yeah. Rose played some Phasma with a kiddo. Yeah, how'd it go, by the way? Did you? How many times did y'all die? And how many ghosts did you end up winning and beating and destructing? Although you are, you're a lot better at that game than <laughs> most people I see. Um, I'm terrible. Well, I've never played it, but I know I would be terrible at that game. Because... I'm such a little girly girl when it comes to horror, mo horror movies and horror games. I like watching a good horror movie, but horror games sometimes are too much. It's just too immersive for me, I think. I think that's what the problem is. It's too immersive. So, I do stream trust in digital art. Really? And a variety of different games. I love art. Uh, I am a musician myself. Um, but I do love the visual arts as well. Uh, and also the theater arts. Uh, I've always been an actor, too. Um... Which has been a blast. But, uh, yeah, no, I do... Right now, I mostly do... Oh, I don't want to go to that blue one. My bad. Uh, right now, I, I mostly do music. But, I mean, I feel like, especially right now, with all of the pandemic-y stuffy going on, I feel like we're kind of like kindred spirits, in a way, because we both have to deal with just so much junk in terms of our prof professions and, and being able to survive... Oh. Oh, did I bring you down the right way? Yeah, that's good. I'll bring you down there. You're cool. You're cool, 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 cool. Um, Rose, uh, you'll have to watch Friday. You're doing a Phasmo drinking game. Uh, I am going to be streaming on Friday, but if it's before 8 or if you're still going after, say, 11 or midnight, then I absolutely will do that because I loved watching you with Vandal. I think it was you with Vandal. Uh, you were doing three or four of you. This must have been a, a month ago at this point, actually. But I really enjoyed that, and I uh, I want to come watch you again. Digital art. So tell me, uh, Tristan, what kind of digital art do you do? Is it, um, like, do you have a, a particular genre that you go for? Like like uh, nature, or sci-fi, or fantasy, um, or realism? Are you, what, what exactly, like, what do you do in terms of the digital art, and I'm sorry for all of my <laughs> lack of knowledge on the subject, I should say. Uh, although I like art, <laughs> I can't say that I'm very good at it or know very much about it. Uh, why can't you go there? Oh, because you don't have movement points. Okay, then we'll do that. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Okay, 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 not bad, not bad. Um, so I think we're pretty much set to go. I'm looking at Lysander. Lysander's got a pretty good army going here, especially... I've got to switch some people around, but... Especially, he's got over 1,000 archers, 230 ballistae, 23 monks. I wish I had more like 40 or 50 monks, but that's pretty good for now. Um, 200 crusaders, 19 angels is going to be great, uh, but... Yeah, let's move the angels there. Actually, no, I like... Mm, yeah, no, I'll move him there. That's good. And I'm just trying to set up for some stuff. And in the meantime, we're doing okay with Perito. He does have 600 of these. Let's go ahead and combine those now. And uh, and then we'll keep those there. Yeah, we'll keep those there. We'll bring those back to there, though, because they're, they're a little bit weaker. Uh, and that should do it. Okay, so I think that's going to do it for us on this side. And Rose, uh, let's see, you said, I have to watch Friday. So, um, I've had some drinking game, though. Oh, that's so tempting. It is so tempting to go and do that, uh, to watch that. Uh, you're going to have to tell me what time you're on and which channel is it on. It's probably yours, I'm assuming. But you'll have to tell me because I would like to, I would like to at least see some of that. If I can't watch it live, I want to catch the VOD. Uh, and I see, let's see what we got. Tristan says, a lot of people say your art is cute. You work in simple shapes. Use oh, you used to play drums. Oh, that's awesome. Um, so your art is cute. So are we looking at like chibi, or are we looking at our other like East Asian inspired artwork, or is it um, you, you say simple shapes? Uh, I, we're not talking like like you know you draw a cube or a sphere and shade it well. Like like or, or are you? I have no idea. So I mean, I'd love to, and I don't know if you're on Twitter or not. Um, but you can. I would love to see some of your work because, as they say, a picture is worth more words than you want to feel like typing right now. Um, you can find me at Pile Real, R-E-A-L, um, and send me, make sure you send me a friend request. Make sure you remind me that you're from here, but uh, Trins, Tristan Grant everywhere. Okay, that's good to know. Super clean and awesome. You have one of his illustrations hanging on your wall, then I've probably seen it if it's ever been in a stream. 
Uh, that's really exciting. And Morbidly Morose, 9.30 p.m. I will be in the height of a horde night, I'm pretty sure, but I will absolutely be catching it on video demand, because, video on demand because, as I said, I love watching watching you play um, because of how awesome you are. Oh, shoot. He's going the wrong way. I need you over here. Shoot. My bad. I forgot who was going where and when and why. And that was a problem. Uh, no worries, depending on how slosh you get, might be going past midnight. Then hey, there's a pretty good chance then that I'll be around, because I, I am probably going to be playing... I will probably end between 11 and midnight. That tends to be the spot we've been ending at. Uh, so that's exciting for me. But yeah, Tristan Grant, I'm afraid I'm going to forget, so please send me a... Send me a, a DM or something, or tag me in something on Twitter, uh, and that would be awesome. At Pile Real is how you'll find me. Uh, as for, there's got to be a monk here. Oh, I can't get a monk right now. Anyway, erg. Right, we're just gonna come down. All right, let's do some invading. Let's go into Red's territory, see what we can get. Uh, we already know exorcism. All right, well, let's get this coal plant so that or pit so that he can't take advantage of that anymore. And eventually, we're going to get this hero up into this town. And uh, that'll be good, too. Very helpful. And I guess that's going to be it for this turn. I don't want Proetho to go anywhere. I need him to just kind of hang out and play defense for me. But I want to... I really want to, like, build up his army a little bit so that he doesn't just get destroyed the first time somebody comes at him. I'm going to go ahead and buy troops from these bottom towns at that point. What is this? Temporary luck and uh, morale boost. I'll take it. Uh, gives me more hit points. I'll take that, too. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Um... Mm -mm. All right, so that's good there. Why don't we go ahead into these towns and buy the rest of these troops to bring along with us? They're going to come along. I love that opera guy that sings in there. Uh, by the way, uh, to answer your question, my major was piano. That's what I majored in. Uh, but I teach voice. I, I also did voice and trumpet. I teach voice now. I'm an, actually a chorus teacher. And I also teach band and general music. And that's kind of my shtick right now. I love what I do. I teach at a middle school. It's intense and sometimes unforgiving and often unappreciated. And yet at the same time, I don't know that I would trade it for anything because I love my job. I love doing what I do. I have former students whom have gone and performed on Broadway. Uh, I have former students that are performers at Disney. Um, and just like, like the, I, I, want, I, I took my, my middle schoolers a couple of years ago to Broadway, uh, to a show because one of my former students was in the cast of the show, uh, as a singer and dancer. And to be able to say to my students, like, look, she was literally sitting in your classroom seat, the seat you're in right now when she was in middle school. And now she's on Broadway and like just seeing their faces, uh, when they came out um, at the end, I because I, I had texted her while she was in the show um, and was like, hey, we're here. So excited to see you. This is amazing. I'm so proud of you, like the whole deal. And uh, at the end, she came out and she brought like six or seven cast members, including the main. I, I can't I don't want to say the show. I don't want to say the character or the actor. Because if I say the actor, then you'll be able to find the show. If I say the show, you would be able to single things out a little bit more. And I don't want my personal information out there. But suffice to say, it was a, a teeny bopper idol who's now a little bit older. Um, but let me tell you, still popular. And uh, when that main, main character, the actor who played the main character, came out and talked with my students for about a half an hour and just like listened and talked and encouraged them, oh my gosh. Talk about the coolest thing in the world to just have my have my students see that. Oh man, how inspiring! Like there's there, there's nothing that that beats something like that. There just isn't. Uh, so yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, the kids absolutely loved it. It was it was in it was incredible. It was incredible. Uh, one of those things that I'll never forget, and I'm sure they won't either. 
Okay, let's bring these guys down and see if we can eventually catch up to Lysander as he does all his things. Ooh, damage and hit points through my next battle. So that's good. What do we got? Oh, well, we can get some squires over here. I don't think I have room for squires, but I can hopefully capture the thing so that he can't take squires and get more uh, growth. I think I've got a hero there, but I don't have a hero here. So let's bring this hero over here, actually, just to spread them out. Oh, man. Talk, that was a yeah, highlight of my career right there is what that was. Highlight of my career. Yeah, there's, there's nothing like seeing students really get it. Like, really get it. Uh, and just have those moments. Oh, that's like what, what you live for as a teacher. But um, that's, uh, that's, I guess, I don't want to say neither here nor there. But, I mean, we are trying to kick some tuchus here in the game. So let's see if we can't keep doing that. Uh, we'll move you back and switch places with you. And now we're going to run you down here and see if we can't catch you up to Lysander. Now that you're in a little bit better formation in case they attack. So I have a feeling these guys are going to come right out and attack. Oh, hundreds and a company. Oh, this is going to be bad. Uh, Angel Falls is going to not be easy to make fall. Let's be sure. It's either here or there. I thought it was neither. It's neither here nor there. By the way, if you say it's neither and then something else, you have to say nor. That's the correct word. Uh, we don't have advanced nature magic. What? That's so sad. We don't have any room, but we, we've attacked that and made it ours. We do have the... We have this purple key, don't we? The purple key's right over here, isn't it? Yeah. Ugh. Why can't we go in there? Rally flag increases our movement. I'll well, start there, I guess. I thought we could. Yeah, not now, I guess. Maybe it's Proetho that has that. That could be. Well, that's life. Life in the fast lane. Uh, you're right. The saying is, it's neither here nor there. But since you said it's not neither here nor there, it's either here or there with a... Mm. <laughs> you know, sometimes when I'm speaking off the cuff, by sometimes I mean always, uh, yeah, things like that happen. Oh, what's this? Ooh, we got something else. Ooh, another town. What's Who's living in this town? Oh, few and several. Guess what? We about to capture Avacebo. Uh, I, th oh, I can try to learn level one life skill. We already possess the knowledge. Oh, we can't get it this turn. Oh, we were so close. Oh, we were so close. <sighs> All right, well, let's see what we can get here. Next turn. Oh, they just got reinforced. I just saw an army pop up right at the last second. Poop. Uh, let's run Proetho up and back to get these two um, Crusaders. That's going to be good. They've got really high armor and attack, so that's good. Slow moving, but all right, what do we have now? Oh, scores and dozens. Well, that's these scores worry me. The dozens. Uh, oh, and the dozens of these uh, these monks worry me. I've only got 23. That's not even dozens. So, uh, I wish I could have attacked on the last turn. Ah, bummer. Let's go ahead and capture this then. We got some ore. What's this? Uh, increasing defense. That's a good sign. That can't help me at this time. So, I guess we're going to go around first and see if we can't get a few things. And then once we do... Oh, yeah. And we can get reinforced here. Uh, 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 so, that'll work. Wait. So, I have monks there? Why do I have monks in this army if I have monks there? I don't have monks in this army. Well, that's why. <laughs> Duh. That was funny. Uh, all right. Well, I got to tell you something. Um, oh, it's the month of the Saturn. Oh, it's the first of the month. So in this game, on the first of the month every month, the game randomly chooses one one type of mob. And they call it the month of the whatever that thing is. This month, it's the Saturn. So that means that Satyrs are going to appear randomly all over the map, right in the roads that I need. So now I'm going to have to go clear them now, unfortunately. So let's see if we can find one. Yeah, there's one right there. Yeah, there's two over here. So that's just that's just right down in here in this area. Um, three. So one, two, three, four, five. Just in this little tiny area on the bottom. So that's a that's a bummer. They're not really going to be a problem for my big armies like this guy here. We can just auto battle it. But um, yeah, I don't. Such a pain. Look at all this. Ugh. What a pain. I want to go. Well, got, now we got to clear them out all, and I don't know. Let them run. Let's get some defense. I really want to capture this thing so that we don't have to worry about it anymore. 
Uh, these guys can come on up as well and join in. Hey, now we've got a little bit more bolster to our army. That's pretty sweet. I'm excited about that. Oh, we didn't even need the squires. Oh, well, with these squires... I don't think we can capture that one. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get there because of the stupid senators. All right, well, we're going to let them him hang out right here just for a second. And then we will go. <laughs> oh, dumb. Duh. Um, why don't we move you down here, actually? If we move you down here, then, then these guys definitely can't get by. Makes sense. All right, I know I don't have room to add squires. I know that. But if I can get him to aggro and come over and let him run. Now I can go over there and get those peasants. And then we'll be able to come over here for the rest of them. Okay. Squires first. 57. Dang. That's nice. Oh, and we are going to be able to get these on this turn. Nice. 57 more. Oh, now we've got a nice little army going. Can I make my way back? Oh, they have a lot of movement score too. Jeez. Uh, Perito's going to hang out there. We're going to come up here and clear out this area, whatever this is, up in this area. Um, I don't really care about fighting them because I think Lysander is maxed out on his, uh, his thing right now, his, um, his experience points and level for the first one. There's a cap. But I think we're going to go through and do that, so that'll work. <laughs> okay. Oh, how badly do I want this town? I want this town so badly. I don't know that I'm going to get it today, but I'm going to try... I'm gonna try. We're gonna see what we're gonna see what happens. We get see if we can't learn. Hey, we learned the pathfinding spell. Sweet. We're gonna get this gem crystals. I'm gonna come over here. Maybe learn a level two order spell. I don't think I am because I don't think I know order magic. But maybe I do. If I do, maybe I can learn a spell. We're gonna bring those up there though. Those squires. Man, that's a lot of squires. I'm gonna end our turn. One thing I'm going to do, why don't we do this? Why don't we take out the sprites and have them come up here and collect some more of these armies? That'll be one more step that we do every turn, but at least it's going to be worthwhile. Uh, while I'm doing that, has anyone ever played this game before? Oh, I don't know Advanced Order Magic. Who who has played any of the Heroes of Might and Magic games before, by the way? I have four and three, four, and five. I haven't played three in a very long time. Four, it's been a while, too. Uh, and, but five, I never actually got into. I don't remember if I didn't enjoy it or what. But, oh, what is this? Ooh, a quest. Uh, you played it a long time ago. I played it a long time ago, too. Um, uh, like like 2005, I feel like. But I love it. I love strategy games. Turn-based strategy, especially. It's kind of like my, my shtick, what I like the best. It reminds me of chess, but it's so much cooler than chess. All right, what do we got here? Why, yes, I am, Claudman. Why do you ask? You shake the old architect's hand. Are you retired, you ask? Well, I've been forced into early retirement. I just completed a wall protecting a gold mine for one of the lords in these parts. But then all these troubles came along with that man who claims to be the Griffinheart heir. I was foolish enough to voice my opinion of the man once. I was beaten, and my dwarven hammer was stolen. I haven't worked since. Realizing that it would be good to have this man on your side, you ask... If I returned your hammer to you, would you do us a favor? Would you tear down a portion of Clodman's wall? The architect thinks about it for a moment, nods, and shakes your hand. I certainly will. The architect... I already had the Dwarven hammer <laughs> from a previous quest. Uh, so here we are. Now I get to see the end, end of it, too. <laughs> um, the architect, Clodman, quickly accepts his Dwarven hammer and studies it closely. I don't know how you managed to find it, but I certainly owe you one, friend. I'll get to work on tearing that wall as soon as possible, he says. Well, that's cool. I think we just did a quest. And finished it. All right, let's go back here and see what that means for down there. Uh, in the meantime, let's go and get some troops. Uh, did you play, Judo, did you play all three of them? Three, four, and five? There's got to be more now. I don't even know. Um, or did you only play uh, the, uh, like this one or one of the other ones? In uh, inquiring minds want to know. Nope. I don't want to do that. And guess what? We're going to go ahead and ban you. Wah, wah. Eh. Or am I? I guess I don't know if I'm going to do that. 
There we go. Ban. Do do do. And so sorry about that, folks. Uh, my I have two moderators. One of them is hanging out with his family tonight, and one of them is busy. And I will never ever ask a moderator to leave his family or her family. That's just not something I do. Family comes way before anything else, especially anything on Twitch. Um, I know that that's not a popular opinion for everyone, everyone, but that is how I roll. So, tis true, tis true. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead up. All right. Oh, oh, look, we can come down here now. Now we're going to go down here. We'll clear this area down here first, and then we will go and try and take that town, Arecibo or whatever it was. Um, I feel like that's a different thing, but whatever. Uh, more realists. Oh, do you stream elements or something for um, another uh, something for Mava? You know, I don't use stream elements. I have never set it up. I don't really know what to do with all of that. Um, if you have any suggestions, I'm all ears. Uh, if you DM me, I won't remember anything you say in the chat in terms of administration. But um, if you DM me or get to me some other way, then I will uh, absolutely. Use the bot banner. Yeah, that probably would be really nice. Um, you have it set up that it auto-bans them. Yeah. The only trick is if, if someone gets accidentally auto-banned, I don't want that. Um, that would be a bummer, too. But, yes, I that would be awesome. If you don't mind, uh, please, sending me a DM or something on Twitter where I know we are connected. Uh, that would make me happy. Happy, happy, happy. Everybody be happy. And I don't know about you, but we're getting close to the end of the day here. Let's add our monks down to um, our army here. It's not a lot. I really want those monks to be with Lysander, though. You know what? I really want those monks to be with, with Lysander. I have to bring them up because he needs to be reinforced with more monks so I can try and match the amount of monks they already have. Uh, in chat, they won't get auto ban unless they're putting... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, screenshot. Yeah, that would be really helpful. Please do screenshot it and let me know. I have. I don't even have stream elements, so I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm an utter noob when it comes to uh, setting up chat bots and such. But oh no! Oh no! Turn around! Run away! Run away! What have we got here? There's a red army here. Oh boy! There's a red army who's being led by a general, a level 24 general. Well, hot dang! Oh, this could be. This could be not well. Dozens of knights. Oh. Dozens of knights. Scores of... Oh, no. Oh, no. This could be a problem. This could be a major, major problem. I don't know if I'm strong enough to take these guys on. I think what you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this right now before I go and do that. Because I'm really afraid that I'm about to die. But I really want to kill this thing. So, let's do it. Let's see if we can do it. This is me living up to my moment right here, living up to my word, saying that I am some kind of a fan of turn-based strategy. What are we dealing with? 225 archers, 20 knights, oy vey, 50 monks, 125 pikemen. That'll take them a minute to get down. 200 squires is going to be a problem because they can stun. Oh, gosh. What am I going to do here? I'm just trying to figure out what's going to be the best thing to do. I need to take those monks down, like, first. The monks and the knights are going to be my biggest headache, I think. Uh, the pikemen are going to be a problem if they can get in close because they can attack with reach and I can't counterattack. You get one free counterattack per turn, per round, I should say. Um, so I'm going to hold on. I'm going to wait on him. I'm glad he had to go around all of them. That was actually really helpful. Why don't we... Why don't we go ahead and... We don't have anything that could help here. Let's do... Wait, hold on. Let's do this. How much health do you have? 330 health. Okay. So what if I poison you? How many times is that going to take? 27 per turn. Until... Well, no. I don't think it's going to work. So we're going to do some stone skin on our angels. Oh, gosh. That hurt. Half, half. That gets full. Let's take full on you. Oh, it didn't even kill one of them. Wow, they move far. They move far. That only took out five of them. Hot dang. Well, this is the moment I think we need to bring up our guys here. They did kill one of my... Oh, gosh. 
Oh, that did take out all of him, though. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so now I outnumber him by double on Pikeman. But that still only took 17 of them out. Jeez, Louise. This is, this is going to start to be a problem. Maybe I can take out his... Yes, okay. So I took out his general. That's going to really help me a lot. Uh, let's take out these pikemen. They might be able to attack me back, but they can't. Okay, so that's step one. Step two is make it so that their strongest range guy can't attack me. Uh, maybe these crusaders... Oh, yes. Okay, so that actually ended up working. Now we can focus fire on these monks... Um, I know I'm going to take you down as much as I can because you're going to be coming up here soon too. Oh, we can get our pikemen to come up here against the monks. That actually killed them. And then our archers should make short work of theirs. And there we go. That is how it's done. Wow, that was... I did lose uh, two monks and an angel, which I didn't want to lose, and 17 crusaders. But that was a lot better than I thought it was going to go. So I'm very thankful. I'm <laughs> very thankful about that. Uh, he did level up. Wait a second. I thought 15 was the cap. If I'd known that... They could go higher. I would have been having Proetho do all these fights. Uh, Master Combat is probably going to be what I do. We've got Expert Offense and Basic Scouting. Now, I want to do Expert uh, uh, Offense here. I want to get my attack up. Can no? Okay, so now he's level 18. That's the max. There you go. Um, oh. oh, no. Was that the end? Did I just end it? I didn't even know that. I wanted to go take those two towns out. That's a bummer. All right, let's read this uh, so that we can have our flavor text. Flavor text! Normick became tight-lipped after his capture. Obviously, he had made the same deal with Wharton and expected his employer to become king someday. So, Lysander sent Normick to prison and garrisoned the gold mines against any future aggressions. As much as the nobles bickered and protested about the seizure of the mines, there was nothing they could do without attacking Lysander. Wharton didn't want a war, not yet. He didn't have enough troops. As we rode away from the mine, though, I noticed an expression of worry on Lysander's face. What's wrong, my lord? Golden armies aren't going to win this war, Milton. Yes, I know. The longer Wharton is out there, the more people will listen to him. Soon he'll have all the nobles in Palladra behind him. Then what? I asked. Then I'll have nothing. Wharton's best weapons are his lies. I'll have to prove him a fraud. Adamus, who was following closely behind us, said, "'What you need, Lord Lysander, is outside help, spiritual help.' "'What do you mean?' "'Wharton might be the only person with the knowledge you seek, and he's certainly not going to tell you. "'What you need is someone who can tell you the unseen secrets, someone like the Oracle of the Dawn,' Adamus said." Yeah, she's pretty good, Proetho said in his loud baritone. I hear she predicted the reckoning years before it happened. I don't know why he's from Brooklyn, but there you go. <laughs> uh, the Oracle of the Dawn, my lord said thoughtfully. I knew what he was thinking. Finding the Oracle would take us out of our way. We'd have to leave Paladra, and Wharton was bound to take advantage of such an opportunity. Lysander was weighing his odds. If he chose to fight now, he would win, but he'd also lose respect of his people. Where can I find this oracle, he asked. Boom! I think we just won. We did. Let's check out our stats. I don't know how good they're going to be. Especially since we've actually lost Lysander in one of this. We actually did die last week. <laughs> okay, do we A finish A wise that? man once wrote, Whoa. Destiny demands sacrifice. Let's listen. The prince who would be king must first step over the corpse of his own father. Oh boy, that's brutal. I didn't brutal. realize how true this statement was until we searched for the Oracle of the Dawn. What will be the cost of her knowledge, I wonder? Well, I didn't know that that was going to be the end of the mission, but that's okay. I was hoping to finish tonight. We did go a few minutes over, uh, but that's the way it is. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and pay forward this raid. I want to thank you, Judo, for sending the raid. I want to thank Game Boy, I think it was, right? And Tristan, both of whom subscribed to me tonight. Thank you all for the bits. This has just been such a loving night, and I really felt it, and I appreciate you all. Um, I want to pass that forward. I'm looking at, uh, let's see. You know, I see Oadelt is playing the Elder Scrolls V. That's Skyrim. Um, and I see Curly Whirly is playing World of Warcraft. Rock War is doing Element TD 2. Uh, that's who I see. Who ha Those are the people I see that have less than 10 viewers. 
And I like to I like to pay forward, especially when I've had less than 10 viewers and someone raids me. I like to pay that forward too. So that's where I'd like to go. And I'm looking at Odelt. He is a great guy, a real stand-up person, and he's playing Skyrim, one of my favorite games of all time. So I'm going to go ahead and do that if I can figure out how to work my keyboard and mouse. So we're going to raid Odelt. When you get there, please make sure you click his button, his icon in the bottom left and then click it again so that he gets credit for the views. And uh, if you feel so led, I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but if you feel so led, please feel free to give him a follow uh, and definitely say hi to him in the chat. Thank you all so much for being here tonight. You're great people. I love spending this time with you and I can't wait to do it again. I will see you on Friday. Um, I will see you on Friday for seven days to die co-op. And then I will see you Saturday on over on Epic Dad's channel, uh, Epic Dad Gamer. On here on Twitch as we play pen and paper Pathfinder. I've got all my junk right here with my dice box. And until then, as always, my pylons, stay safe and be well.